Well, as you say, there's a large number of people have turned out uh, for our selection convention. This is uh, an opportunity for people to come and actually listen to Martin tonight as he delivers a keynote address. But also we're here to select our new replacement M MP. Um, this is obviously a, a party position that we've, we put forward and promised the electorate that we would stop double jobbing. So this is another example of us delivering on that promise. Uh, tonight I'm delighted that um, the only name has come forward is Francie Malloy, our current MLA, uh, a man who's done a fantastic amount of work for the people of Mid-Ulster and will continue to do in his role as MP in the future. Um, I believe that he's the only name forward so I believe that he, he will be selected here tonight and I am delighted because I've worked with Francie for a very long time since his signing of the Good Friday Agreement actually I've been working alongside Francie Malloy and he does great work in the community, he's built up enough sort of trust with people in the community, people know, uh, know him as a go-to person to get something done so I think well, um, it's very positive for the team in Mid Ulster. We're not losing Martin. Martin's also going to remain on as an MLA. So we've got a very strong team. We'll continue to field our, our councillors, our MLAs, our MP um, in the time ahead and work very uh, collectively for the people of Mid Ulster. Well, I, I was very proud tonight, along with Michelle O'Neill, to both propose and second Francis' nomination to be the Sinn Féin candidate in the by election, which will happen now early in the new year. Obviously, I'm very proud to have been the MP for Mid Ulster for the last uh, 15 years. I have uh, a great link, which I will maintain in my position as uh, an Assembly member uh, for as long as they want me. And I think that uh, we're going to fight into a by election, which will be very clear for it's the one, but it's one in which I think every Republican in this room and, and South Derry and East Room will throw their heart and soul into to ensure that uh, we are uh, successful and return uh, with a very clear majority. Well, obviously I'm not nominating Francie, I'm nominating someone with a huge wealth of experience within Irish Republicanism, somebody that was associated with the civil rights movement, with uh, Sinn Féin right throughout the course of the struggle as an elected councillor, uh, protesting the constituency over housing, and someone who has been elevated into the uh, principal deputy speaker's position in the assembly. Now we're very proud of the fact that Michelle O'Neill, who also represents this constituency along with myself uh, as the agriculture minister, so between myself as deputy first minister, Michelle as uh, agriculture minister and Francie as principal deputy speaker, uh, I would like to thank that the people of mid Ulster have a great pride in what they have achieved by electing us to these uh, important positions as MLAs and then into office. So I think that uh, Francie will be a very popular choice uh, for the people. He's someone with a, a vast wealth of uh, experience, as I've said, someone who's very well known without the constituency, both in South Derry and East Tyrone. And I think that uh, the people will come out for him in a very big way. My, my, my views on the whole thing is I'm absolutely delighted that Francis Malloy is our candidate in these elections. He has a long history of been involved there with the Republican movement and uh, no better man for the job. I'm saying there from a South Derry, uh, from a South Derry point, point of view, as a South Derry man, South Derry Republican, that Francis Malloy, we will get behind him 100% and we will give this the biggest push of our lives and I encourage everyone out there, even though they're not involved in Sinn Féin, to come out alongside us there and support us and come out and canvas for Francis on the day. So, you know, well done Francie and we're behind you 100%. I think Francie is the best candidate for this area. He has big shoes to fill, I know, with Martin, but Francie is capable of doing it and we are 100% behind Francie. And we will be out tramping the streets along with Francie and we're asking everybody come out and support Francie Malloy. Definitely I think it's brilliant. Well it's safe to say Francie is a household name around these parts. Everybody's heard of Francie, especially in my own house. He's well thought of. I think there's no better man for the job. I'm extremely proud of him and as a young Republican I'll definitely be going out there and canvassing for him and I would encourage any young people out there to come out in their numbers and vote for him. Well, I'm honoured and privileged to actually be nominated by Mid Ulster for the thesis. I suppose it's, it's a, you know, a lifetime ambition in one sense of actually uh, having you know, to stand for Tom Mitchell's seat uh, here in Mid Ulster. Uh, but I, I would actually just say to some earlier that last night I was probably more nervous than in any election I've ever been in yet because it is a big responsibility on actually of holding on to the seat of Mid Ulster that Martin McGuinness actually took from the unions uh, and give Mid Ulster a life. 
and I think that's the key thing. And having come from you know, the civil rights campaign right through to the day, uh, some changes we actually see you know, along that way, and there have been some of it very difficult. But I think the important thing is that we give a vision to people of what can be achieved and how we can actually develop forward. And we have put Mid Ulster uh, on the landmark and, and identified it as a, a base and a community in which Republicans are coming together and providing jobs for people, providing housing for people and providing an infrastructure. And that was something that they didn't have before. They had no voice before when you had people like Willie McRae standing up along with the Loyalists, standing up along with Billy Wright. Uh, so it was important at that time to win that seat. But it's equally as important to actually hold on to that seat now and to bring it back into the, the Mid-Ulster area. And, and I'm honoured and privileged to be at